Hey, this is G Butterfly coming to you live from my TV room. Couldn't come to you live this morning from the parking lot because I had to hurry up and get into the office. I had a lot I needed to do. But please like and subscribe to this channel, like my video, share it out. Uh, I'm coming to you now to talk about none other than Miss Wanda. I was riding in my truck and I heard Scotty by nature come on and say that he was going to play the audio from Miss Wanda's uh, live that she had on Facebook. So he played the audio of her live and he chimed in here or there. And I was just listening. I say, Lord, that damn Miss Wanda be all over the place. She'll start on one topic and be all the way down on another topic in the next two seconds. So you had to really listen to try and follow what Miss Wanda was saying. Miss Wanda was just saying uh, in a roundabout way that she felt like Kiki hijacked her interview with uh, Scotty by nature, which was not the truth. Uh, if she told Scotty it was okay for Kiki to come up on the panel, then it was okay. And the interview just had to go whichever way it was going to go. And I looked at the interview. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, and in my other, in my other uh, video, I talked about my thoughts on that particular interview. But Miss Wanda uh, sounded like she's just always ready to pop off. She sounded like she's always ready to spoil. She's always hollering about my family. I love them, my family. I love them. But... You could tell she's ready for anybody to say anything so that she can argue with them. And that includes Marceau and Kiki. You can tell she wants to say something about Kiki. She wants to tell something. She wants to go back and forth with her, which is really unfortunate because um, it doesn't seem like that's what Kiki wants from her. I Just from looking at what I see online, because that's all we know is what we see on TV and online. It looks like Kiki uh, respects her aunt and generally cares about her aunt, but Miss Wanda is in everybody's business. And why does she think Kiki is so uh, jealous of Tisha? She was just talking about that again while she was driving in her car. Why does she think that? Based on what I've seen online, Kiki seems to be a very well accomplished woman. She's married with children. And from what I can see, looks seems like she's doing pretty well. And I'm looking forward to seeing her on Love and Marriage Huntsville just to add another dynamic to the um, cast ensemble because it's getting a little boring if you ask me. And I don't know why Miss Wanda thinks she'll be uh, jealous of Tisha. She seems, seems to use that word a lot when it comes to Tisha and Kiki. But I guess we'll see how all of that's going to play out. But in the uh, live that she was doing in her car, Miss Wanda say she was headed from Bessemer, going to Huntsville, going down to Birmingham, back to Huntsville. Baby, she said to be a road runner. And I know she's going to have them in those boots, clickety-clacking everywhere she was going. But um, I don't know. I just didn't like the fact that she seemed like she was just ready to argue with Kiki about something regarding that interview. Um, also, she was saying how she can go off on Kiki and Marceau and pretty much say what she want to say, when she want to say it, how she want to say it. And it should be okay. It should be accepted. And uh, no one else can. But she also started talking about a man that cheat, that men are going to cheat anyway. So if your man is going to cheat, and she was saying this in relation to um, male. She had started talking about male. She said how male pretty much destroyed her marriage. Now, she said male destroyed the marriage, but it was obvious Martel was cheating for several years. But she was saying Mel destroyed it because Mel went ahead and filed a divorce and uh, left Martell. So Miss Wanda went on to say, did you pretty much should just let your husband go out and cheat, put him out the house, but let him go and cheat. And after you had a chance to kind of calm down, let him come back into the house. You know, she was just saying that's how they were taught back in the day. And I say, that's some antiquated bullshit. And Miss Wanda need to quit spewing that out on social media. And she was adamant that she was talking to young girls and young girls should listen to her. And just kind of let the guy do what he want to do. Young ladies, don't listen to Miss Wanda. Miss Wanda is full of shit and just talking to hear herself talk. Don't don't go along with that. Don't go along with that. Everybody relationship is different. Don't just let somebody cheat on you just because Miss Wanda say let them cheat and let them come back. No, handle your relationship yourself. See, Miss Wanda trying to get in your business just like she already in teachers. Don't let Miss Wanda get in your business, girl. Don't Don't let her do it. Because she will. Uh, but that's all I got. When I saw that Scotty by Nature was coming on listening to Miss Wanda's audio from her Facebook Live, I said, let me see what she's talking about. A lot of nothing. A lot of nothing. And if Miss Wanda say, uh, put an S on women, if she put an S on people, 
If she put an S on men one more time, I'm a holler. I can't take Miss Miss Wanda and that putting the S on everything, but hey, I guess she gonna work it out. I guess she gonna work it out. But anyway, that's all I got. I just listened to some of the audio when uh, Scotty by Nature played it, and I was like, Lord Jesus, Miss Wanda ain't talking about a damn thing once again. Just uh talking to be talking. She wasted three to four minutes just waiting for people to come into her live. I say if she really had something she wanted to pop off about, she would have. That let me know that she ain't have nothing she wanted to say. But once a few people got in the live, then she started talking about that kiki mess. Well, we'll see what else Miss Wanda gonna do this week and be looking forward to love and marriage Huntsville this weekend. All right, everybody have a good day. Remember to like, subscribe, and share my video. And this is G Butterfly coming to you live from my TV room.